Hello guys, welcome back to Kessie's Cuisine, where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes. If you're new to my channel, hello, you're welcome. And if you're old in this channel, thank you for coming back to my channel. I love you guys. Today we are going to be making something for the holidays, okay? We are going to be making some curry sauce. This is one of my favorites one of my mom's favorite holiday um dish so i decided to share it with you guys so we'll just get i will walk you guys through the ingredients and we we'll get right into action but before that compliments of the season okay first things first i am going to be using some turkey and i'm going to be using some chicken for this recipe then i am going to be using different selections of bell pepper this food is very very colorful and the more colorful it is the more vibrant it looks all right i'm going to be adding some rosemary some thyme some curry of course curry is the star boy of this show so yeah you need curry lots of it we're also going to be using some different selections of pepper i'm going to be using this powdered pepper and i'm going to be using some chili flakes i'm also going to be using this hot spicy chili seasoning for my to spice my meats we are going to be adding in some prawn we're going to be adding in some carrots some habanero I'm going to be adding some green peels my spice selection i'm going to be using benny and i'm going to be using maggi cubes and um, garlic i'm also going to be using spring onions now first things first you want to spice your your turkey spicing your in fact your meat broth is one of the is the most important part of this recipe all right apart from your pepper and every other thing your meat broth is important because like the base of your food so you want to season properly with very good amount of quality spices okay if you get a new spice like benny like i got please try to taste your spice individually before adding it to your food i didn't taste this benny separately before adding it to my food and the benny was doing too much god in fact it was almost like ruining my dish but i balanced it up anyway as you can see i added in all my different spice i added in my onion and then you want to stir properly you could not stir very well because my chicken was frozen but i added some habanero and then i tried my best to stay it properly again with my hand and added and i put that aside to start boiling while i prepare my pepper for this food one thing that gives it this unique look and beautiful vibrant look is number one the color of your pepper or the colors of your vegetables number two is how you cut it so you want to try to cut your pepper or your vegetables as uniform as possible okay so because i wanted everything to be uniform and i didn't want to do like strips or anything i decided to go i like to cut them in cubes i was trying my best to make sure that every single thing is cut in cubes so that's what i would do for all my vegetables that i previously showed you guys all right now if you are watching this if you are watching my channel and you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please i beg you do subscribe to my channel we are trying to grow all right and please do like this video if you like this recipe like this video it helps my channel a long way it helps youtube put out my channel um to different other people and then i know what you guys really like so please do like my like this video subscribe to my channel comment and uh yeah wish me compliments of the season in the comment section please all right so as you can see i 
just continue cutting all my vegetables in fact this dish is like one of my favorite dishes if i'm not mistaken because this was what i made for my wayek food and not practical this was my wayek food presentation so as you can see like this food is me and this food go a very very long way back back long way okay let's continue on my video as you can see my chicken and my turkey is cooked it's time for me to fry it you want to fry it carefully um this when you are preparing your protein like your meat um your chicken your turkey some people even put egg you can you can just this thing up as you like some people put egg some people put sausage but i just wanted to keep it you know simple and cute anyway when you are frying your chicken and your turkey make sure that your chicken and your turkey is not so so dry don't make it dry dry don't make it too dry just make it golden brown succulent on both sides then it was time for me to prepare my to start my dish proper this food is very very easy very fast okay i spiced my prawns and then i am going to cook them for about five minutes <laughs> for five minutes before i pack them out from the fire so i'll cook my prawns on low heat make sure you don't overcook your prawns and then i'm going to take them out of the pots because they were cooked already i'm going to take them out of the pots and then i am going to start adding my vegetables to my pots first firstly i'm going to add in my spring onions i'm going to allow that saute or fry or to be translucent however you want it to be and then i'm just going to add in my vegetables your vegetables you don't actually need like to add them in sequence okay you don't have to add them in sequence you can just add them as the spirit needs and then when you are done adding everything together they're just going to stay properly to make to enable it fry very well and then you are going to season it then you are going to like it's just fast this food is just sharp sharp so it's good for you to always like prep before you start like cooking everything because it just goes very fast i mean literally your meat is cooked everything is ready all right so as you can see i already added in most of my vegetables i think almost all and then i added in some maggi cubes to my vegetables because if you don't spice your vegetables they are going to be almost like they're going to be tasteless in your food do you get so you'll just be eating vegetables that are not really 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 sweet like that so i stirred that properly make sure it was frying very well and i'm going to add in curry curry is it is curry sauce so yes please add your curry don't go and put too much so that the food will not go and turn to color that i don't know but sha add curry a lot of it it's going to give your food a very vibrant color at the end of the day anyway make sure that you fry your curry and your um, pepper very well when it was when i was satisfied with how i was looking at how it was the aroma i decided to add in my meat broth now when you add in your meat broth as you can see my meat broth is very very thick this is not what we are going for so i will add in some water just like this add in some water and if you are cooking for like a large crowd not really la a large crowd the water pepper ratio is not okay yet so i'm going to add in some more water yes yes don't be scared but don't go and overdo too much <laughs> don't do too much this amount of water to pepper ratio is perfect can you see it then i'm going to add in my chicken and my turkey but i am not going to allow it to cook 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 all like for too long 
when i added in my pepper and my turkey i just covered it for about three minutes after three minutes you want to thicken your sauce yeah and to thicken your sauce you can use flour you can use cornstarch you can use corn flour just add in your flour or your corn flour or your cornstarch to a plate add in a little bit of water make sure that you dissolve your flour and your water properly before adding it to your sauce because if you don't your sauce is going to have like little little lumps and you don't want that at all for me or what i would advise you to do don't add in all your cornstarch and everything all at once to your pot as you can see i'm adding it little by little and i'm stirring and i'm waiting for the consistency that i need because if you add in everything all at once it might give you something that is too thick and then you start you need to start adding in water and it's too stressful just add it bit by bit this was the consistency that i was going for it was perfect for me like this and with this my food is ready my curry sauce is ready and it was a banger it was a banger guys so my curry sauce is ready and my mom likes serving this food with diced plantain i don't know we always eat it with plantain but the plantain is never cut in the real plantain form in the real dodo form it's always diced that's the special occasion plantain vibe i don't know but like this my food is ready and i'll do i'll see you in my next video make sure you try this for the holiday season and i'll see you in my next bye